A severe storm last night hit one part of Jackson County especially hard. It caused a lot of damage on the campus of Western Carolina University. That's where News 13's Rex Hodge joins us live. Rex, one building in particular was literally hit hard. Yes, very much so. High winds came through here last night and literally knocked down a lot of these old trees here. Some of them actually toppling over onto the roof of Hunter Library. Repair and cleanup is underway today. The day after the storm, many in Cullowhee say winds hit 60 miles an hour. I guess you'd call it a microburst or something came through. Travis Bramlett runs the University Mobile Home Park. I just some of my tenants have called me and told me to, to get over here. He's busy. Tore down that tree, this tree. And cleaning up the aftermath. Some fence damage, but no one hurt. No, not at all. The storm chased right along the Tuckasegee River. Yeah, straight through there. Went across the river and took out a couple of trees on the other side, too. That's the campus of Western Carolina University. The lights kind of flashed for a bit inside the apartment, and then I heard a uh, loud thunder. There was so much rain that it filled up in the middle of the streets and puddled up on the sides and stuff, and then I started getting hit with some hail. The university says 10 trees fell on campus when the storm hit about 7.20 in the evening, blocking travel, and nine trees fell on top of Hunter Library, punching 50 to 60 holes in the roof and clogging up drains. Someone told me there was about a foot of water on the roof, and it started to come in through the ceiling tiles. This is our maps area and government documents, congressional hearings in particular. We'd like to take care of them, yes. There is some water damage inside the library, but Becky Cornegay says those important maps are safe. We we have two men on a night crew who quickly moved an amazing amount of materials. Now back here live, the university says crews repaired those 50 to 60 holes in the library roof by very early this morning. It also says many of the trees here are 50 years old or older. And as you can see behind me, crews are still hard at work now, cleaning up almost 24 hours after the storm hit, putting the branches in the chipper. Some of the mulch will actually be used around campus and I can tell you about an hour ago traffic uh, resumed here on Buzzards Roost Road here that had been closed down ever since last night so things slowly getting back to normal here. Reporting live tonight from Cullowee, Rex Hodge, News 13.